here's the schedule. Uh, we'll get back on schedule at four with Badger, and um, we'll have uh, the next person go till three four uh, three forty five ish, so they get their full half hour. Um, so that's a small small adjustment. Um, so disclaimer: don't don't do physical things if, that you shouldn't be doing. Basically, is what this says. Be excellent to yourself. Take care of yourself. Listen to your doctor. All of that good things. No one's asking you to do anything you shouldn't be doing. Uh, the other one is disclaimer and, and liability. Nobody's asking you to hurt yourself or anybody else. That's not what this is about. We're just sharing information and how we train and, and, and things like that. It's not to go out and uh, beat up a bunch of people. I, I know Mosey does that. That's what I hear. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. <laughs> All right. So next, um, keep on staying on mute. Let Michael do his thing, except for when there's a, a blank time. Certainly come off mute and uh, ask your questions. Um, or you can ask him in chat, and I will, I will afford them. Pin the instructor, so you can see his name is Michael Vincent Melanion. I think I pronounced that right. Um, very nice guy. I had dinner with him in Ohio, trained with him a few times. Um, super duper guy. Glad to have him here. Uh, and also turn on closed captions. You'll get to see what they're saying in case you can't quite hear it. All right, now the next screen, yes, I got it. And I got his logo and everything on there. So he's gonna talk about some targeted concept training from Balintawak and FCS. And Michael, thanks for coming. I appreciate and appreciate your adapting to the weirdness. So over to you, man. All right, thank you very much. Awesome uh, presentation by Dr. Tim Hartman. Uh, yes, do visit his facility. I've been there. That's an awesome facility to visit. Uh, again, uh, uh, good props to, the, uh, to uh, Dr. Tim Hartman's material. And again, I uh, would like to uh, thank you, uh, PG Thai Boating, for allowing me to present for today's session. And just a quick intro about myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Guru Michael Vincent Malanyan. I reside in Cincinnati, Ohio, where I lead the Matan Filipino Martial Arts Program. In that program, I promote the Balintuak Arnis Quintada system by Grandmaster Bobby Tapuada, or also Bo Arnis Diablo by Grandmaster Eduardo Siniza, FCS Kali by Tuhan Ray Leonardo. So for today's presentation, I would like to cover some of the targeting concepts in both Palintawak and FCS, time permitting. And just as you, as you may know, a lot of uh, things going on during this outage of the COVID-19, a lot of the instructors and the GM have been really gracious enough to present some of the materials in social media. And that's including GM Bobby Tabuada and Tu Hon Ray. And today I'm going to use some of uh, GM Tabuada and Tu Hon Ray's video clips that they've uh, shared to everyone to train. So, I'm just going to be using this material for today's uh, presentation templates, per se. So uh, for the first material, I would like to uh, go over a video clip that Grandmaster Bobby Tabuad have shared in the social media. And this is, uh, I think, the fifth video clip that he had shared. And uh, I would like to go uh, in, in the, you know, I'd like to train with this template that he shared because I found it really impressive. And as a Balintawak uh, Tabuad practitioner, I've always, uh, uh, I'm always learning. I'm always, always learning from Grandmaster Bobby Tabuada. So, um, PG Ty, can you, if you could please uh, 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 play that clip, if that's possible. Yeah, let me, I'm gonna, supposedly this will work. Uh, let me see, I tried it in the background, but uh, okay. we shall see. Where did it go? I'll do it this way. Just okay. A second. okay. Okay, and share. All right, so you guys should see here shortly a screen with that video, and I'll start it if everybody tells me they can see it or nod your head. I can see it. Go for it. All right, here we go. Huh. 
All right. I hope you guys had a chance to see that. Can you guys uh, hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, all right, fantastic. So in that specific template that Grandmaster Bobby Kavwada have shared, I love that template because uh, uh, just to give a perspective on that, and maybe, maybe, let, me, let me see if I could uh, pin myself here. There you go. So he emphasizes a seven strike pattern, right? He goes for a high strike, high strike, high strike, low strike, high strike, low strike, high strike. And that's with the midpoint of the weapon, right? So, and he was going so fast in that video that I, I, I'm ra rather impressed with that because he could go as fast as he can to deliver those strikes. Now he went from that angle, from the right chamber, and he switched over to the left chamber and did exactly the same pattern. So he goes from high strike, high strike, high strike, low strike, high strike, low strike, high strike, and back to that le left chamber. Now he, again, it, it's just a good pattern to learn that material because with that material itself, you could go full blast if you want with power and speed. Now, the, what, well, one thing also that he incorporated was the live hand. So incorporating the live hand in the, using the, the left hand. Now he started incorporating that for every strike, he utilizes that live hand in. So high strike, he punches. High strike, he punches. High strike, he delivers a punch. Low strike, punches. High strike, punches. Low strike. Punches, high strike, punch. Now it's back to that right chamber. So again, this is where the stick boxing is coming into play with his uh, with his pattern, which is which is fantastic. And also in the left chamber, he did exactly the same thing. But now he didn't switch he didn't switch weapon hand. He just basically utilized the right hand weapon hand and still went from that left chamber, right? So what he did is that the same pattern: high strike, punch, high strike, punch, high strike, punch, low strike. Punch, high strike, punch, low strike, punch, high strike, punch, and back to that chamber. So that was a, a, a template that I've been uh, utilizing during, during this outage, and I'm really, really humbled by Grandmaster Bobby Tabuada by sharing some of his uh, wealth of wisdom during this outage. And uh, it, it's not common for Grandmaster just to share this out in the social media. He, they're more hands-on to share their material, right? So with this, one of the concepts that I saw is that he's using with a, with a mid-stick strike. So why not just utilize a stick boxing format that we, as a Balintuwak practitioner, is so accustomed is using our, our, uh, our weapon hand with our, with our punches. So in that same pattern, surely you could deliver a punch, 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 low punch, punch, high punch, punch, low punch, punch, high punch, and now you're back in that same position. So the training concept and training material in terms of the, of the material is not only engaged on the weapon itself, but also could be incorporated on the, on the punches itself with the weapon hand and with the light hand. And this is also encompassing both the training side of the right chamber and the left chamber, right? So in the same material, you could go punches, punch, punch. You're just going for that material all throughout, right? And as you get to that familiarity, you get accustomed not only in the, on the strike, but also in the distance, where you could start off from the medial, corto, corto, medial. Then why the heck not? Why not incorporate some kind of medial, largo range with that material? So I've been fortunate enough to have this uh, training uh, targeting tool that I have here at home, where there's a hand or arm ex uh, ex extending up, right? So, why not incorporate a two-to-one strike with that same template? So medium strike, uh, midpoint uh, strike with a weapon at the same time attacking the, the guard or an arm while punching. So it's two-to-one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the targeting concept now has changed. I'm now attacking both the head and the arm as I use the same template. Not only in the right chamber, but also in the left chamber. I could go head arm strike, head arm strike, head arm strike, low strike, head arm strike, low strike, head arm strike, and bring it back to left chamber, right? So in that same pattern, I could utilize this targeting concept of two to one. Midpoint hit with a weapon, targeting the arm at the same time. Now the arm could be a posture in terms of a guard, so you're really attacking two points, 
You're attacking both the arm and the head at the same time. So this is a uh, this is uh, some of the materials. When I saw that materials, like wow, that is you know I'm so blessed to have Grandmaster Kabwad as my instructor because he just develops this uh, template, and you could almost visualize what could come out of that whole training template, right? So another concept on that same template is why not utilize the low guard? Now I'm going to utilize this uh, punching bag, a smaller version of it. Let's see if I can turn it and just place it in front of my uh, or original material or original targeting. Now I can go from me uh, from medio to largo at this side so using the same template. I attack at the point of the weapon, point of the weapon, point of the weapon, potential kick. You attack low. Go back to the high, potential kick, that's low. Then go back again. Now you're back to that same scenario. That's from the left, right chamber. Now from the left chamber, same scenario. High, 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 potential kick strike. High, potential kick strike. High, and back to that left chamber. All right? Now, why not utilize the live hand in that same template like what Grandmaster took what I've shown? Now, just with a potential, there's a potential uh, kick that could happen, right? So with a medial larger scenario, I, I could go from that motion to extended punch, 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 and I, as I go over low, I could punch, you know, attack with a potential kick, right? And I punch in uh, the uh, low, low angle, high, punch, low, punch, high, punch, right? So, again, that template is so powerful. I mean, it's a seven strike for each side, making it a 14 for both sides, making it a 28 with the punches, with the live hand. Right, and I'm not even incorporating some of my kicks, like my, uh, like uh, how uh, some of my Balintu uh, brothers have demonstrated this morning, where like Guru Alex was using the knees, the kicks for potential attacks and defense. So, again, just focusing on the high gait, where with the strikes and the punches, this template is more than enough for me to utilize during this outage to just keep on training on the mindset of Grandmaster Bobby Tuwada's system. Right, we're so tight, meaning we could be corto, corto, corto medio and now a potential medio largo with a potential kick that could happen, right? And I think uh, Mr. Tom has indicated in a fight, you're just basically gauging an opponent before you even, before you even uh, come in and uh, commit to a potential strike or block. And this is that concept, right? So you have this concept of attacking, 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 attacking the low, attacking the high, attacking the low, attacking the high. And that's your context of that balloon walk targeting concepts that I've seen with uh, Grandmaster Bobby Kapwada's template. Okay, so from that, really blessed to have Grandmaster Kapwada showed some of this technique. Again, this is the fifth video clip that I saw out of the whole uh, outage. And please do check out his material. I mean, this is just one of the many templates that he has shown. So I'm going to stop right there. If you guys have any question on that template, and uh, maybe I could answer directly. If not, I'm going to keep on going. <laughs> Good? Excellent. So, let me see if I can get some uh, questions here. Let's see. Excellent. Clear. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much for the feedback. So now, let me continue on with the same context, right? So if you would like to incorporate some of the kick and you're a potential kicker, so why not incorporate that same template with a kick or the knee? So you strike high, 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 right? And you go for the low. Well, instead of the low, why don't you just go for a short roundhouse kick, then go for the low strike, go back to that high strike, low strike, high strike. So there's that opportunity to see openings if you're a kicker. Aside from the kick, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a roundhouse, it could be a, a knee, right? So high, 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 low, and I can deliver the knee, high, low, high, and I'm back to that same template. So the potential are endless is what I'm trying to say. And that just one template that Grandmaster Tabwada have shared uh, in the social media, okay? So again, you guys can see this, he has posted this to everybody, and, uh, and it's a good tool for reference to build on that same structure, okay? All right, so I'm gonna 
Uh, see if I have any questions, then I'm going to go translate to the FCS material. Good, good, awesome. All right, so next material. This is from 200 Dianalos, right? Let me move this out of the way. So 200 Dianalos, a uh, video clip that he shared was this quick drop. And uh, I would like to also promote, uh, uh, actually, before I, I go to FCS right now, of course, make sure you check out Jim Bobby Tabuada's uh, website. It's jimbobbytabuada.wixsite.com. He has all the information there. He has DVDs for sale. Please do check it, check it out and, uh, and uh, just uh, gain more knowledge in regards to his uh, respective curriculum and material. Okay. Now, heading over to the Tujon Ray Dionado's uh, material uh, with a quick draw. I'd like to present his, one of his uh, many uh, types of templates with his quick draw blades, whether it's aluminum based or polymer based, and with a sheath in the side that you could utilize, right? So he utilizes this in a lot of uh, demonstration purposes. The one that I shown, uh, saw in the, in, the, in the social media was the quick draw with regards to maybe a four count quick draw. So what he did is that he, just, he back fist, check, and then he just stabbed right in the, in the, in the jugular, okay? So for, and for safety, I, be, I believe it was uh, Lacan Guru Ernie Lake that was the aga at that point. So just for safety, he's just aiming right in the side of the neck, rather directly to the face. So this is something that you can utilize if you have a, a training dummy or a bob or even a post. Uh, if you have a door that you could use as a, as a frame, that's something that you could utilize as a point of reference and contact. So what's, what's going to happen is that uh, Tuhan Ray has this quick draw, so precise, right? That motion right there. So... Targeting concept is that back fist check and then draw and stab, right? Now, I'm going to build on that. So what's going to happen is that back fist check, draw, cut down on a potential um, uh, block from the arm. So now instead of going for a, a three count, one, two, three, I'm going to go for a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now, one more time. Back fist check. Um, uh, stab uh, to jugular, cut down and off. potential block. One more time. One, two, three, cut down. Now I'm going to follow through with a fifth motion. One, two, three, cut down, swing and stab the potential arm coming for a block or a guard. Okay? So that's another portion. One, two, three, slice, cut. Repeat again, so you get an idea. Back is check, stab, slice down, cut or stab. All right? Last motion, last two motion would be two slices. So back fist, check, stab, slice down, stab down, slice down, stab high. Okay? Seven count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Last motion. I'm going to turn this around so maybe you guys can see it at a different angle. All right, so in, in this scenario, I'm going to give you guys an idea. Quick draw to my right side. Again, back fist check, draw. Okay. There you go. Delivering a slice down to the potential uh, check in the arm. So I go, cut down, one more time. There you go. Potential defense with a secondary arm for potential guard or block. So. Check, 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 cut, and turn and stab. There you go. And the last two material. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You get a different angle. I'll slow down in the whole seven count. So check, slice down, turn, go cut, stab. Okay. One more time. Back is check, check, stab the um, Jugular, cut down, turn and stab the checking arm, no slice, and stab. So if I go with that whole motion, it would be just a quick motion of seven count. Okay? So again, that's a uh, short template that I saw in the, in the social media. I guess uh, something that you could uh, repeat, repeat and train and basically get ingrained with the movements of the 
of your own personal body mechanics because everybody's different. But again, templates are good to use. And especially it's good if you do it over and over because you'll find out what makes um, what it makes for you and what it doesn't, uh, you know, how it could be uh, applicable to you when you're training these templates. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. See if I can get any, any uh, questions. Good, no questions? All right, excellent. Now, again, this is one of those things where uh, we're in a shutdown, lockdown and shutdown. We can't really train with partners and be mindful when you train with trainers, especially if it's just a training, trainer blades. Uh, keep yourself safe. Trainer's a trainer. It could be dangerous if you happen to stab somebody in the soft tissue, eyes, mouth, nose. Again, a trainer could be a, a, it's still a weapon, right? So be mindful on that one. I also also promote if you do have if you train with a trainer blade, make sure you have an equivalent live blade when you train. So you should be carrying uh, if you if you if you're a blade carrier, make sure you uh, uh, carry that blade outside where you're comfortable using it. And of course, the trainer in the in the dojo setting or while doing a, a partner training for safety, right? I get, it's a point of context in terms of being uh, comfortable with your uh, weapon. Uh, whether in a safe zone or in a, in a danger zone out there in the, in, the, in the streets. So just a different mindset, okay? So, so far, I'm going to see if you guys have any questions with that template. Okay, good. No questions. And, uh, again, if you guys want to check out Tuhan Ray Dionaldo, his website is fcscalifilippines.com. That's his international headquarters. And... For me, I again, if you guys want to check me out in terms of the uh, uh, in Maktan, I'm in uh, I'm located the website. It's uh, www.maktan.online. And also, I'd like to promote that I do have a weekly um, live stream free session. I partner up with multiple instructors in Balintawak, FCS, Defensor Method, who are passionate instructors sharing their craft and training just because of this outage. And uh, do check us out in the in the in the website. It's wwwmaktanonline slash livestream. And if you sign up, you have free access to the classes, not only for martial arts, there's also fitness all week. So there's that options uh, for you guys to train. And I do want to plug in a couple of uh, upcoming events. So upcoming events next Saturday, uh, Maktan FMA Online is uh, hosting. Uh, FCS Tuhon Ray Dionaldo for the first time on a international live stream broadcast. And uh, hopefully you guys could attend. Uh, PG Thai, if you have a chance, if you could uh, please play that uh, promotional video. All right, here, just a second. Okay, let me share the screen. And... There we go. So it should be popping up now. It's got the information for what you just mentioned about uh, Tuhan Ray. Yep. And you guys can see that. Uh, he'll post. We'll, yeah, we'll make sure you have the link for this when I do the wrap up for his session. So let me go ahead and play that clip. I think this will be fitting. All right. What happened? Uh, looks like uh there we go there we go Thank you very much for sharing that, PG Thai. Appreciate you guys have a chance to at least uh, 
uh, saw the promo video for the upcoming online session next Saturday. If you guys have a chance, do check out the, the, the link. Uh, I know uh, it's www.makan.online uh, for registration and just keep an eye out in the Facebook page. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, do let me know. I want to extend a um, extended thanks to uh, Miss Kathy Zen Jibo for helping me out generate that video clip on a short notice. And I also would like to thank everybody on the all the practitioners instructor that was, was able to attend today's session. And again, my humble thanks to uh, PG Thai for allowing me to be the uh, session uh, for today's uh, event. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, glad you could come, Michael. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, Anybody have any quick questions for Michael? We got we got some minutes here. Um, so speak up or send it in the chat. Or if you just want to say a shout out, that's fine too. Show some love. They're too they're too shy. That was great. Thanks a lot. Thank um, you. Thank you. The the hand and head strike at the same time really blew my mind. <laughs> You're telling me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I saw that in the bag. I'm like, wait a minute. I have a bag here, and it has an extended arm. It's like, wait a minute. Can I just get that context? It's like, it is. It's right there. I mean, if a person is in guard motion, you're hitting it in two motions, in two strikes, right? So yeah. I, I thought that was a, an interesting insight that, uh, uh, that you know, just observing, observing that template. So Nice. That's awesome. I just saw in the, in the notes you uh, you train uh, Viet Le in, uh, in in your school. That's correct. Yes. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> so we're connected on the other side of things with our mantis background. Yes. <laughs> He's an excellent practitioner. So that that's a small world, right? It is very small. It is very small. Yes. Very cool. In fact, actually, uh, I might share something and kind of link those two for both of you guys. Um, anybody got anything else you want to share with uh, Michael? Again. Pleasure having you here. This is good. Uh, I know you're. You don't get to get on any East Coast things or, or West Coast things because you're right in the middle. So uh, I'm glad you could join us. Thank you again. Appreciate it. As far as I'm concerned, you you know you're East Coast family. You know, by all considerations. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Again, thank you, everyone. Appreciate your time.